Following on from my last two videos about creating CNC cut files using Inventor's drawing environment, I thought I'd show you how smooth it can be when using a custom macro, and a nice side effect of this cut file creation method. In this folder I have a bunch of ceiling panels which need to have their cut files created. But first I'm going to open this part so I can show you a tip which will make placing views of the parts much easier if you're doing it manually, but is essential if you're going to use a macro to automate the task. First orientate the part so you can see the face you want facing up on your CNC machine. Using the view face tool select the desired face then rotate the part as needed. Before saving reset the view cubes front face to the current view. The default view used by Inventor when placing drawing views is the front view so getting this set up now means you don't have to select it later on. Once I'm happy with all of my parts I can run this macro go through and select the folder where all the parts reside, specify the type of cut file and then let the macro do its job. As you can see it's gone through and created a view for each individual part that was in that folder, turned off the visible edges layer and turned on both of the sketches, the cut file sketch and the reference geometry sketch. Now here's the nice side effect, because all these parts are based on a skeleton model, I can come here and just adjust a few dimensions, have the skeleton model adjust, and open up the assembly and update all the files. Now I'm just going to defer the updates on this drawing so that you can see the changes occur. Okay. Now as I hit update, see how all of the parts updated automatically. This means you can have parametric associative cut files that can be created before the design is ready to be issued for construction.